while we are pleased that the internal affairs investigation is at long last over, by no means does that signal an end to our efforts to bring change. In communities across the nation, we see great human suffering and civil unrest because of the actions of law enforcement. For those communities, tragedy was necessary for change to occur. And at the point that community leaders react, it is often far too late. Our own police department may very well be on the edge of such an event, though it certainly does not have to be. Our community leaders have an opportunity to be proactive. Our community leaders have a duty to the citizens to actually lead. So far, we have not seen leadership. So far, we have not seen a commitment to change. So far, all we have heard are empty promises and conditioned apologies. Our message to them is, act now. Act now and act not just for our family. Act for the community at large. Stand up for your community. Actions speak louder than words, so take action. We call on the City of Fort Myers City Council to bring an independent investigative agency to look at the Fort Myers Police Department from the bottom up and the top down. Discover what really went wrong in the false arrest of our son, our brother, our friend, and our hometown hero. Do this to expose the flaws in our police department so they can be fixed. Make our city safer and protect our community. Do not settle for a whitewashed, internally prepared report to cast blame on low-ranking officers and protects the chief and his well-chosen henchmen. Your chief announced today he is going home to chill. Justice should never be put on ice. The Bill of Rights should be a priority. The city has problems and our leaders are obliged to address those problems head on and not by holding their breath and hoping the problem goes away. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. When I was sitting in that motel cell, all I kept hearing was a felony and that I'm gonna be, you know, taken in that day. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was going to jail that night. Didn't even know what was going on. So um, as far as the whole legal process, I didn't, I didn't, I had never been in this type of situation before, so I had no clue. And I'm just, I'm glad I had guys like Sawyer and other people in the community to help me out and understand that something was done wrong. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad the truth, like I said, from the first interview to the, the whole, I'm just glad the truth came out and that everybody saw that this didn't happen and that something was done wrong. And I'm glad that the Fort Myers police, and I hope that they realize that they, they do realize that they did something wrong and that they have, you know, taken that responsibility. For five months, we have been offered apologies. We've never asked for an apology, nor do we need an apology. God has tested us and called on us to stand up for the civil rights of our fellow community members. We will continue to do so whether our city leaders act or whether our city leaders sit back and talk.